What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Build Studio. So in today's video, we're going to be diving deep into this highly beloved Prusa MK4S 3D printer. Now for the longest time, I couldn't understand what the obsession was with Prusa and their line of 3D printers. I mean, you've got hundreds of options out there, such as the insane number of 3D printers from Creality. And then you've also got the amazing 3D printers from Bamboo Lab. And then you've got a number of different other brands that produce very competitive printers with very good prices and technology that produce amazing 3D prints. And then you've got Prusa, the quiet 3D printer brand for more experienced 3D printing enthusiasts and tinkerers with a super loyal fan base similar to that of the die-hard fan base that Tesla has, who for whatever reason remains completely loyal to Prusa and their small lineup of 3D printers. Now, I just didn't understand the die-hard obsession and support that this printer has until now. Whether you're a beginner looking for ease of use or a pro chasing ultimate precision, this printer promises to deliver. And after using this Prusa MK4S, which they sent me over the past few weeks, I finally understand what all the hype is about. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through my personal setup, my review, and my experience with this printer and share with you my feedback, my opinions, and my thoughts, and also my understanding of why so many 3D printing enthusiasts continue to choose Prusa as their number one 3D printing hardware manufacturer. So stay tuned. <music> Okay, as soon as I received this printer, I could already tell that I was in for a great experience. This MK4S arrived in classic Prusa packaging with all the tools and accessories that you need to get started. Now you can tell that you're getting a quality product when the box and the packaging is in itself a work of art. Now on the box, you've got high resolution images of the printer itself with some examples of completed prints. And then you've also got bold, beautiful letters and a blown apart diagram of the print assembly on the top of the box. Now with the exception of Anchor Make, I don't think that I've ever seen more pleasant packaging. Now inside the package, you'll find a box containing various tools, accessories, and parts, as well as a very detailed instruction manual. And of course, the fully pre-assembled printer itself. Now along with that, You'll also find a one kilogram spool of Prusament PLA in Galaxy Black and the iconic bag of Haribo gummy bears, which I ended up devouring while setting everything up. Now, if you are new to Prusa like I am, there is a reason for those gummy bears and it's actually quite fun. Now, if you buy the kit and follow the online assembly and setup instructions, you'll find out that you are supposed to use those gummy bears as a reward and a boost of energy for every chapter of the assembly that you complete. Included in the instructions are not only lessons and tidbits of information, but along the way it tells you how many gummy bears you should consume after completing each chapter in the assembly process, which I think is amazing and fun. It's super interactive. Now I don't know about you, but it is a fun and unique way for experienced and even new users alike to learn and get a great starting experience with your new 3D printer. So I guess you can say since I didn't get the kit and instead got the pre-assembled unit, might as well just eat the whole bag of gummy bears. Not that I wouldn't have done so anyways. Now if you are someone that has a Prusa printer or you're someone who's thinking about getting a Prusa printer and you take the time to examine some of the parts, you'll also notice that a lot of the 3D printer's parts are 3D printed themselves. This just reinforces the fact that Prusa is passionate about 3D printing and their printers are made by 3D printing enthusiasts for 3D printing enthusiasts. Now, moving on, setup is ridiculously easy, especially because I did get the pre-assembled version. With the assembled model, it's pretty much plug and play. All I had to do was assemble and install the dual filament spool holder, and that was it. Calibration took under 10 minutes and I was ready to print in no time. Now for DIY enthusiasts, the kit version offers an awesome STEM project. You can build it in a few hours while learning all of the ins and outs of 3D printing, and then you can even customize the 3D printer even further if you've got the know-how and the experience to do so. 
Now, what's also nice is that on this pre-assembled version, there was already a test print completed on the smooth PEI plate when I took it out of the box, which just confirms that the printer was tested prior to packaging and shipping the unit out, which of course is always a good reassurance. Now, overall, Prusa has stayed true to its Cartesian design and the signature orange accents make it instantly recognizable. This MK4S feels super solid thanks to materials like PC blend carbon fiber and injection molded parts. It's built to withstand non-stop printing and the open design makes maintenance a complete breeze. Now, when it comes to features, the 360 degree cooling system and the high flow nozzle are standout features for this printer. Combined, they allow for faster, more precise prints even on steep overhangs up to 75 degrees without any kind of supports. In fact, every single test print that I did for this video did not use any kind of supports at all, and they all turned out amazing. Now, this is not something that I can say is true for any other 3D printer that I've tested out on this channel. For example, I printed this complex rocket engine, and as you can see, it turned out amazing. Not a single support was used when I printed this file. And as you can see, the layer lines are almost invisible, but you can still see every single detail of the rocket itself. In fact, there are so many overhangs where supports would have been needed on any other 3D printer, but because of the 360 degree cooling and precision of the Prusa 3D printer, no supports were needed for this print. You can look at it and you'll see that there is not a single flaw on this 3D print. And this print, of course, came bundled with the USB key that came with the printer. Now, other features that I like about this MK4S is that it introduces some user-friendly upgrades like this 3.5 inch color touchscreen and a revamped Prusa Connect app for iOS and Android. The app makes Wi-Fi setup seamless. All you have to do during setup is just tap the NFC chip on the side of the printer with your phone when it instructs you to, and you're good to go. The printer and your Wi-Fi settings are added automatically. Plus, it's also great for monitoring prints remotely. You're also greeted and provided instructions and tips on screen by Joseph Prusa himself during the setup, which of course is another fun and unique surprise. Now, when it comes to offline printing, no problem. The MK4S can run fully disconnected for maximum security, making it perfect for environments where privacy is important and key. Now, let's talk about performance. This MK4S delivers exceptional dimensional accuracy and smooth surface finishes. From intricate models with a 0.05 millimeter layer height to large prototypes printed at lightning speed, this machine can handle it all. Now, when it comes to side-by-side -side comparison of prints, this is where this MK4S, and I guess most Prusa printers, shine. Thanks to the high flow nozzle and optimized firmware, it's just as fast as some of the best printers out there while maintaining top notch quality. Even at max speeds, the prints are durable with excellent layer adhesion and prints turn out amazing. In fact, this is a Benchy that I printed on this MK4S. And as you can see, it turned out flawless. Layer lines are hardly noticeable and the print is smooth as silk. In fact, there are no anomalies or abnormalities anywhere on this print. Now, here is a side-by-side -side comparison of the Prusa printed Benchy in Space Black and a Benchy that I printed using my Bamboo Lab X1C in white. Both were printed using the default settings out of the box and as you can see, they are both quite amazing when it comes to quality. Now, the Bamboo Lab Benchy finished slightly faster, but the Prusa MK4s finished with slightly better quality. Now, of course, the Bamboo Lab is spec to be a little bit faster with a max speed of 600 millimeters per second, but that is just nitpicking from a setting standpoint. Overall, both printers are amazing, but I can see why people love 3D printers from Prusa. Now, when it comes to other features, the cooling system on this MK4S is a game changer. It allows for sharper overhangs, fewer supports, and in some cases, no supports, and better prints overall. Plus, the new Prusa developed high flow nozzle increases material flow rates by up to 114%, making it perfect for rapid prototyping. 
And then for those of you that are working with advanced materials, the MK4S handles PLA, PETG, ASA, and even flexible TPU effortlessly, thanks to its direct drive extruder. And then for you more experienced die-hard 3D printer enthusiasts out there who like to experiment and upgrade, Prusa has always been about longevity and customization. This MK4S is compatible with their MMU3, which is their multi-material unit, letting you print up to five colors or materials at once. There's also the optional GPIO hacker board for tinkerers and a new accelerometer add-on for modders. And this, I assume, is why so many people recommend Prusa printers. Not only do you get impeccable print quality, but you can endlessly customize and upgrade your printers as new technology comes out. This ensures that your printer stays up to date no matter how old it is. There's also a huge community made up of the Prusa team, professionals, and simple users who are always available for support and developing mods and enhancements to make each and every printer a lot better. Now, moving on to some other sample prints that I tried out. This robot alpaca also came on the USB thumb drive. And as you can see, it too turned out amazing all the way down to the MK4 and Prusa text embedded on the print itself. This print is an incredibly detailed and smooth print with virtually indistinguishable layer lines. The print is super solid and is again one of the best quality prints that I have ever seen. Now I also printed this Scandic plate that came on the USB key to test out the overhang printing capabilities without supports. And as you can see, it turned out perfect. The only anomaly that I noticed was this seam line which of course I could eliminate by changing the Z seam position to random in the settings before I print. Other than that, it's amazing what this printer can produce without supports for objects with huge overhangs like this model. Now, when it comes to my list of pros and cons for this printer, let's break it down, starting with the pros. Industry leading reliability and precision. So as you can see, I started by printing a bed test and as you can see, the test passed with flying colors. The printer produced this thin, full-size sheet-like print with no gaps or breaks in the print itself. Second, the printer is very easy to set up and has a beginner-friendly UI. So whether you're an expert or new to 3D printing, this printer is extremely easy to use. Third, the printer supports any and all materials including advanced materials thanks to its direct drive extruder. And then fourth, it's not the fastest 3D printer, but it does have fast printing speeds nonetheless, with minimal to no quality loss. And then fifth, it's got an open design for easy maintenance, upgrades, and customizations. And then, manually loading and unloading filament is a breeze. The instructions and guide on the touchscreen panel makes this job so incredibly easy. And then finally, impeccable quality. This is probably the best quality that I've seen on any 3D printer today. There are a lot of other brands with exceptional quality as well, but in my opinion, this printer so far, at least over the last month that I've tested this printer, it does have the slightest lead when it comes to quality. And then when it comes to cons, which were of course very hard to come up with, first of course is the price, which is why I have hesitated at first to buy a Prusa printer at about $1,000 assembled or about $730 for the kit, this printer is not cheap, especially with other brands coming in at more than half the cost for similar specs. Now this goes the same for Prusa's other printers which can be even more or less depending on the model you choose. Comparatively speaking, Prusa printers are more expensive across the board. Now I'd say after experiencing this printer, I can understand why, given the upgradability, the customization, and the quality output of the prints themselves. So I can see that those higher price tags are justified. Second is again the open frame, which may not suit all environments, but so far it hasn't been an issue with any of my prints. And then finally, and this is just nitpicking, not enough gummy bears to keep my sweet tooth satisfied, which I guess is a me issue. Over the last three to four weeks of testing this thing out, every print that I tried out using this MK4S, whether it's one of the prints that I talked about earlier, or even this scraper, 
or even this spiked plant holder turned out amazing. These are some of the best quality prints using the out of box settings that I've ever seen on any printer. Now what's also nice is that you can connect, import, and print directly from the printable site using both the app and Prusa slicing software. This makes it incredibly easy and convenient to start any kind of project. Overall, this Prusa MK4S is an investment, but it's one that definitely pays off. Whether you're a hobbyist or a pro, its speed, quality, and reliability make it a top contender in the 3D printing world. It's not the cheapest option, but if you're looking for a printer that performs flawlessly out of the box and grows with you, this MK4S is the one. So after testing this printer out for the last three to four weeks, is the MK4S worth it? Absolutely. It's not just a printer, it's a long-term partner for all of your 3D printing projects. And after a month of using this printer, I can see why there are so many diehard Prusa fans who support the brand and continue to choose Prusa as their hardware of choice, no matter how many other 3D printers come out from other brands. There's so much love and care that goes into these printers, and it's something that is noticeable in every printer, down to even the packaging and contents. Anyways, I wanna thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found this review helpful, hit that like button and subscribe. And also let me know in the comments if there is something you would like me to attempt to print on this MK4S. Now, if you are ready to grab one of these on your own, check out and use my links in the description and comment section below. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video.